Yeah, I'm so glad to talk to you and to introduce myself to you. Um, I'm Daniel Masaga from Kenya, East Africa. In Kenya now, as it is divided into different districts, so we are under Migori County. And uh, there is where I live. I live not in the town, but outside of the town, uh, near the border of Kenya and Tanzania, down there. And um, there is where the Lord has met me as a young boy. Uh, I, I, was, I grew in the home where they were not Christians. My father and my mother, they were not Christians. Or uh, to say these days we can say, talk about religion, religion. They didn't have anything like that. They were just there. Uh, worshiping devils, and give sacrifices to the devil, they give cows, uh, goats, chicken. So I grew to know only those things. But lastly, uh, a missionary, a Pentecostal missionary, sent a school teacher to start a small school there. And that teacher testifying us about the living God. And he said, God lives in heaven, and down here is where he put his legs. Then as a young boy was thinking how big God is, if he can sit very far in heaven. And again, his legs are just here on the earth. Then I will start to search. And the, the, the teacher said, those who believe in God, in Jesus Christ, will go to heaven for eternal life. But who do not believe they will go to eternal fire? As a young man, a young boy, I was thinking, ah, eternal fire? Not even for one year, just eternity. Then I decided to confess my sin as a young boy. And uh, I followed Jesus Christ. And uh, after that, I went to uh, water baptism by immersion. And... Uh, that is on 1951, November, I was baptized into many waters. And from there, I grew and then I married in 1955, April. That was uh, something new to our area because I married a Christian daughter, the one who came from a Christian family, but not me. Of people. That was a very real burden in my heart to witness to our people so that one day also we can be together with them in eternal life. I start witness to my father and my mother. They believe and they came to Jesus Christ. They were baptized and uh, uh, they became a new creature as the scripture says. Also my brothers. I started to preach in that area myself, no preacher to help me even to, to travel with. Uh, I was able to preach in the markets, in the homes. Just when I go to market, I will sing myself there. Uh, then the people were wondering, because it was the first thing they haven't seen before. And they were wondering, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? But uh, I will call the people to come forward to repent their sin. And they came. For, for doing that, uh, now in my area, we have many churches, we have many preachers. Uh, some have started their own fellowships. But now the Lord has opened the way for me to preach, not only in that small area. I have preached all over the world. I thank God for that. Uh, I'm not a big preacher, but this is, is the biggest. Because the Bible says, if you will lift up the Son of Man, you will draw many to Him. So He's the boss, and He's the one who can do everything, not me. 
before I started to go out preaching in a foreign country, what the Lord has done there, many people are healed physically, spiritually. Many demons were casted out in the name of Jesus. According to the scripture, it says, you shall cast demons in my name. So I have seen that. Many of them, they were delivered, become a new creature. And uh, after this, all I, I preach uh, all over in uh, this, I mean, uh, Scandinavian countries. And I went to Israel two times, just in, in, a, in, in a miracle way, because I didn't have many, I don't have anybody in Israel to invite me. But uh, only the Lord has done all these things. So I'm happy and thankful unto the Lord. Again, what now I'm doing, uh, we as the church, Gospel, Gospel Commission Fellowship Church, we have churches, eight, six churches with preachers, pastors and evangelists and deacons. They are, the, they are there to help the work. We have the work in Tanzania also. Maybe you have been to Tanzania. We have a churches in North Mara in Tanzania. Again, we have the churches South Mara in Tanzania. Again, we have the church, three churches in Mansa town, very far from my home to Mansa town. It is one full day drive. <coughs> but I thank God for doing that. Not me, but the Lord. Again, the Lord put into my heart to have a crusade. A lady came to me about nine miles from where she lived. God sent her to me to warn me to say, the Lord has given you a very special gift to help many people, but you just stay in this in a church here. Then I, and, he, and she said, if you can't do what the Lord wants you to do, you will be judged in the last days. Then I was thinking, how can God will judge me all these years I'm preaching? What, what happened? Why? And she said, the Lord told me strongly, and that lady warned me and just pointed at me and said, if you refuse to go out, because the Lord has given you a very special gift to, to help many people, but you refuse because you are in your church, then I cooled down then I asked her, okay, you can pray about it, if the Lord wants me to go out. And now the Lord has made it possible. Now we have, have crusades where we can meet many people, not only our church or our fellowship, no. All people from all uh, uh, denominations and uh, unsaved people, they are there. And there we preach Jesus Christ who was rose from the dead. And I have seen in our crusades many people come to the Lord. I have seen uh, a, a lady from Tanzania who lost her eyes. She received her eyes back. And also uh, I preach in the Rift Valley in a crusade. And in a Rift Valley, uh, in a town called Eldoret. And there, in my crusade, a crippled lady was brought from Kisumu town. Through the grace of God, through the name of Jesus, that crippled lady walked instantly. And the name of the Lord uh, was glorified in that area. Until now, it's a great testimony. Then, after that, I made another crusade in Kisumu town. And there, many people came to the Lord. And a miracle happened when one crippled lady was using sticks, threw away the sticks and walk. So, this is what I'm doing. The Lord has put it in my heart to do that, to see that. One day, I will not go to heaven myself. I want to go with other people. How can I, how can I go with other people until I tell them? As scripture said, 
How shall they hear without a preacher? So I have to preach for the people to hear. Because faith comes by hearing. So I'm very happy for what the Lord is doing and what he can do. To start the crusade, we didn't have the tools. We didn't have the PA. We were nothing. We start out now of nothing. But then, then the Lord has provided tools. We have PA. And we didn't have something to carry this PA. And what the Lord has done, now the Lord has given us a very big glory to and to carry the people inside. So when these days we are going somewhere to have a crusade, that glory, we made it as a platform. So we don't need to buy a platform or made another platform. So I, I wonder what God is doing. God is able and uh, he can do wonders. And uh, what I can say to you who are hearing me, your impossibility can be possible because the Bible says only believe. And you might say, maybe, I don't have a great faith like this preacher. You don't need a great faith because Jesus said, if you have a small faith, like a mustard seed, you will tell the mountain to move, and the mountain will move. You don't cry for a big faith. As you think, maybe I need a big faith. You just believe. Believe the word of God. Believe what Jesus said in my name, and use the name of Jesus. You will see what the Lord is, is going to do for you. Because the Bible says, God has no respect of a person. He, he, he will not say, oh no, this man is a white man, is a black man, is a rich man, is a poor man, is an educated person, uh, an ignorant, without education. God is God. He's our Father. He has the real love of, of, of the Father. He loves us. So He wants to use us. He wants to give us what we need. Right now, um, I believe God is still going to do wonders. Uh, I would like to ask Christians, those who can hear what I'm saying, pray for us. That is one thing. Pray for us. So many souls can come to Christ. This is our need. Uh, as I said, I don't live in the town. I'm living outside of the town. Just outside. There is where I live. But before I was thinking it could have been good for me to live in Nairobi because it's a big city, it's a city. If you have a church then even the church can support you because it's a city. Then the Lord says stay here. I have some people here. And uh, then I said, you know as a human being, I said no, I will maybe start a church in Mombasa and stay there because if I have a church in the city, they will support me financially. They will rent a house for me. They will buy a car for me. But here, people don't have jobs. They're just there having a small farms for their own food. They can support you. But lastly, I obey the voice of the Lord. The Bible says, to obey is better than a sacrifice. <laughs> you see, to obey. If we can obey, then the Lord will be revealed. Now, I, I, I have told you that we have a lorry. Not from Nairobi, not from Mombasa, but the gifts from God. I don't mean that God just threw the lorry from heaven to come to us. He used some, his people. Those who have know and have seen what we are doing. And the Lord touched their heart to support the Lord's work. That is that why we have a glory. And we have nearly everything we need. Because the Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd. I will not want. And another translation says, Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I want. So, but uh, five senses will tell you that is a liar. How can you have everything you want and you don't have anything? But because of faith, Faith will bring them, because God himself is a, is a God of faith. He used the word of faith to create the, the, the universe. He said, let it be, and it was there. So when a child of God believes, move the heart of God to do a miracle. 
for that man or for that lady. So, may the good Lord bless you. Uh, pray for us so that we can continue bringing the souls. We are living in the last days. Really. If you can see around the world, we are living in the last days. According to the Lord's word, according to signs of the end time. But let us work while it is day, because the night comes, when even we as Christians will not work, will not preach. But uh, let us work right now, and let us pray for the workers, so the Lord can send the workers in the field, because the field is ready, waiting for the reapers to go and reap. So may the Lord bless you. Amen.